pretty new experience for me. Uh, usually, my main camera is my end-all be-all. However, being in New York doing street photography, the X100V has actually taken the bulk of my photos. I've really only taken a few of the photos on my Sony. Sony's been mainly video for me this trip. So, why am I using the X100V as my main photo camera in a place like New York? So why am I using this? The biggest thing is ease of use. So obviously Sony is being used for video quite heavily for this trip. So it's kind of hard to switch back and forth. But the big thing is images that come out of this are just unreal. And I'm shooting everything in JPEG. The big thing is, is with this, like I really want to challenge and limit myself. So I want to make sure I get the exposure right in camera the first time. So no option for raw. I got to make the shot happen. I'm also working on a custom film recipe called Big Negative that I found on YouTube. So I'll go ahead and link that. And it gives a really cinematic look. Brings out some warm tones, some greens. Super, super cool. And it really just makes my images from New York City just look like a movie scene. It's, it's incredible, I love it. I've been shooting almost exclusively on it. On top of that, this is arguably a better camera for creating memories with because I have the ability to use a built-in flash. But while it's not as clean as using a speed light or having good lighting, it just gives that like, that 90s pop, like, if you're in a magazine or on the alternate side, if you remember the days of the disposable cameras, uh, it kind of gives me that vibe as well. Okay, so we're all traditionally photographers before videographers. So since we all have pro bodies, what has been your guys' biggest thing that you've noticed about the X100V on why it's an appealing camera? Because you guys have both had choice things to say about it. Simple and amazing. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. 35 millimeter is perfect. Uh, F2.0 is good, good enough bokeh. The joystick, I don't even have the joystick on my <laughs> Canon R, so that's been a nice change of pace to have. And the speed light on top. The flash on top is perfect. What I tell you awesome. guys. Yeah, you can bring honestly. it anywhere and it's just amazing. Just yeah. small, convenient, amazing photos. And the tones that come off of it, yeah. the JPEGs, I'm not, like I said, I'm not even shooting in raw, and the photos just look mint. I'm just gonna steal this right now. <laughs> yeah. Brady has already convinced me I want this camera now. It's a little bit of a hefty price tag right now, but I think once the price comes down, I'll probably get it. So if any of you fuckers have one, send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> now my biggest secret weapon with the X100V, which really makes this the ultimate point and shoot in the moment camera, is this little guy. Yeah, yeah. So this is an iPhone SD card reader. So when I see a photo that I took, that's just like, I need that right now. Pop the SD card in, pour it onto my phone, have it instantly. And because it's JPEGs, don't have to edit, it's good to go. It's incredible. So another thing about the Fuji is I can legit just point and shoot it. So a lot of times when I'm not holding my camera like this, I have the Sony recording video like this, so I switch it to this hand, and I'll pull this up just like that, snap, and for the most part, it comes out pretty good. Um, it's nice to be able to point and shoot, which as a pro photographer, uh, kind of sounds wrong, but it's very nice. Very, very convenient. Okay. So X100V is definitely not the best camera in the world. Uh, if I want a sharper photo, more detailed photo, a photo that I think can last a long time in terms of printing, high resolution, I'm gonna use my Sony. But for capturing life, for capturing memories, to have that nostalgic feeling, this is the best camera that you could ask for. I'm not the best street photographer, so some of these photos you guys will probably look, look at and just be like, oh dude, I could have shot that better with better composition, but really, this is an incredible camera, and I freaking love it. It's the best memory maker I could ever ask for. Train's coming, so it sounds pretty loud. I'm going to end this video. Until next time, like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace!